Okay, I'm going to fit a replacement part on this Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. This is an 06, they call it the T1N. And I've run a string. You can see that I've got genuine Mercedes-Benz string and Mercedes-Benz masking tape to use on this particular project. I've got the back of the van jacked up. Now, there's a part that I'm going to be showing you in the next video. That's this, this is number one of the series. And this median bearing area right here is moved over about 18, 19 millimeters toward the passenger side. So I've run a string from the bottom of the drive shaft at the rear end all the way up to where it connects to the transmission universal joint there and once again the Mercedes-Benz string and tape just to show you how this is a bit off as far as alignment so from running this string it is even more clear that running the or putting this uh, plate adapter between the floor frame of the van and the uh, horseshoe shaped median bearing that the drive shaft runs through this is a two-piece drive shaft this is the three meter wheelbase model but I think it goes the same for even the 140 or whatever inch uh, models that they produced in that same year. This is the last year that they imported this five-cylinder diesel Sprinter into the United States. So, trying to give you an idea of what this involves. So I'll remove the two bolts that hold the median bearing up in there and uh, place this uh, adapter on the position and it'll kick this median bearing and the drive shaft over about 18 19 millimeters toward the passenger side this being the passenger side here so uh, stay tuned this is going to be interesting this change in position of the median bearing will no doubt reduce the failure series of failures they've had with the median bearing uh, wearing out. It's a common bearing that the drive shaft, two piece drive shaft, has splined at the medium bearing area, uh, slips into, and um, if that is not in correct alignment, you're going to get wear of the three pronged uh, rubber mount that holds that median bearing in position. So hopefully, this change will alleviate the whole thing. In the second video on this subject I will give you the part numbers and uh, whatever else you need to know. Uh, I had to go down to the local hardware to buy the metric uh, nuts for this thing. It, it requires two. You don't get those parts with the, uh, the uh, uh, adapter that uh, Mercedes-Benz is selling. Uh, I just ran across this part because I'd gotten a drawing from the parts man at Mercedes and I ordered the the part just blind as far as knowing exactly what it did. I thought it was just bringing the medium bearing down maybe a half inch and that would alleviate some of the vibration problems I had at around 150,000 at 170, 273,000 now, I've had to put a different median bearing in there, but I still have some vibration now and then at uh, 20 and 40 miles an hour. You don't want to let that go very long. Thanks for watching. Uh, as another part of the service I offer to the world, this special Mercedes Benz string and Mercedes Benz genuine tape. Uh, I have those for sale at my website, uh, 
for Sprinter Vans. Thank you. That was a